This, my friends, is what we call a unicorn. Do you see what's so unique about this machine right here? Have you figured it out? Just stare at this thing, besides it being just absolutely loaded with features, okay? I'm, I'm talking absolutely loaded. Well, first of all, this thing is 12 years old. Can you believe that? This is a 12-year-old machine, a 2008. It's a four-series tractor, okay? The John Deere 4720, the largest of all hydrostatic machines that you can get on the market. It's got this beautiful factory cab on here with air conditioning, with heat, with a radio. It's got a magnificent front end loader here. If you see something with this kind of contraption right here, that's how you know it's a self-leveling. Okay, I'll get into that too. It's got a heavy duty bucket on it. If you're shopping online, if you see an extra band, an extra piece of steel right here, that's how you know it's gonna be a heavy duty bucket, HD bucket, okay? Yeah, right here. That's what I'm talking about. It's got a belly mower on it, which means it has a mid PTO as well. That is something that is not found any longer on John Deere tractors in the four series. What that means is you're going to have a mid and a rear PTO with a PTO lever right here to cycle between the mid and the rear. Okay. You're going to raise and lower this mower deck with the three point hitch control here. I'm telling you, this is a very, very unique setup. It's the first time I'd ever seen one in a John Deere four series tractor. So mechanical self-leveling loader, MSL, okay? So if you're looking online, you're going to see NSL or MSL, non-self-leveling NSL. MSL is mechanical self-leveling, okay? So again, it's this system here, kind of this funky looking contraption that's right up there. But what it does is allow that bucket or that set of forks or that bale spear, for, for example, to remain level, okay? So watch the bottom edge of this bucket as it goes up and down because that's gonna remain level. You don't, as an operator, have to try to worry about doing two functions at one time, finding that sweet spot there to, to manipulate it as you're going up or down. It's just gonna do it on its own. It's very cool. This is something that's only found on the four series and larger tractors as well. And you're gonna see this model right here is a 400 CX, all right? So that's one of the better of the two options. There's a 400 X, 400 CX. This is gonna be the model here that's gonna lift more weight and it's gonna lift it higher as well. One of the other very cool features on this tractor is the deluxe grill guard, okay? You know, if this tractor wouldn't have sold so fast, <laughs> that's right, it came in, it got listed, it got sold. It just hasn't been uh, shipped out yet. I ship tractors all over the country. So I was gonna rob uh, this deluxe grill guard off of this machine and put it on my 4066R, but I love these things, okay? You can get them. Standard's gonna be just the regular square, or um, tub tubing that's up here along with this frame right here, but you can add on the mesh here. It's a very nice upgrade to have. This, believe it or not, uh, first time I'd seen that was on the 4066R that I got in. You're gonna see a lot more of this bracket right here on larger tractors, probably four series at minimum, and on into like the ag and utility tractors, that kind of thing as well. It's actually a bracket for a tool box that you can put right on there. Learn something new all the time, and uh, that's something I learned on this one. One of the other premium features you're going to see on this machine right here is going to be the air ride seat, okay? I'm going to go ahead and turn the key just to the uh, accessory position there. When I pull out, it's going to go ahead and release that air. Maybe you can hear that in there, okay? But when I go ahead and push in, listen to that. The compressor's going to kick on, start filling it right up. Very nice, okay? There's a standard suspension seat. The air ride is an upgrade. Now this is one sweet setup right here in the back, okay? So what this machine had going on from the factory was a third function that was back here, all right? Controlled by a lever on the, on the operator station inside. So what they did here is they took a couple of hoses, plugged them in there, and then ran it to this block right here called the triple block, okay? So you've got three outlets, okay? Uh, a pair means it's a matching outlet. You have to have flow going both ways. So if you see six outlets like this, it doesn't mean you have six functions, you've got three. And you can see up top here, there's a cell node here. You see the little wires and everything going inside there. And so you can select which one of these valves you want because seldom do you need all three to function at the same time. So say you want to uh, have a hydraulic top link on here and you wanna move it one way or another, you'll push the little lever and manipulate it to go one direction. And then say you have a side link as well, then you flip another lever and then you move the lever um, inside and it'll raise and, and lower that, that side link as well. Same thing if you had a hydraulic chute rotation on a snow blower, all sorts of things that you can plug into here and uh, have a lot of fun with it. So I don't know if you can see that or not, but it says uh, FAS maybe, F-A-S-S-E is the manufacturer, FAS valves, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but that's where this came from, the manufacturer, very cool setup. 
Taking a look at the back side here, you can see it's very beefy, well built uh, on the back end of the 4720, the whole 4 Series in general, okay? You got a draw bar down there, rear PTO, all your linkage right here as well. This isn't going to be an adjustable arm right here. If you want to, you can just pull this up and then rotate it around, swivel it that way, and then lock it right back into place like that, right up and down like that. These are um, easily adjustable telescoping draft links here. You can just pull a pin up and out. If you don't have a quick hitch, that makes it a very convenient way to attach to a three-point attachment as well, but very well built on the back end here. Going to be a 72 inch mower deck that's on this machine here a 72 inch belly mower you do raise and lower this with the three point hitch control so that same rock shaft lever that makes your three point go up and down will also control this mower deck as well you're going to see it is a seven iron commercial uh, mower deck here very rugged very beefy meant to take on pretty much whatever you can throw at it as far as finish mowing goes so three blades set up here with one spindle here one in the center one on the far side as well now, if you take a look, these mirrors here are going to be optional add-ons. There's going to be a mirror inside that you might be able to see in the far corner over there, but these additional outside mirrors here are very nice to have. You're also going to have front work lights, front flashers, and you can see one of the rear work lights and flasher assemblies here. You have them all the way around on here, but the rears are optional. Same with these mirrors here. You are going to have a lot of stuff going on inside this cab. Again, I'm six foot. I like to round up. Six foot three, okay? I fit in here really well. I don't think it's cramped at all. I know some guys think differently, but whatever. This is me. This is my opinion. I've got a 4066R cab tractor for myself. In fact, I sold it and I bought another one just identical to it because I love the 4 Series so much. They're just a great machine. This cab here is very quiet. Okay. It's built right in at the factory. So you have air conditioning and heat. You have controls up top and you have a radio over on the other side. You have six vents here all around so you can get defrost, you know, in the wintertime on the, on the rear and the fronts and everything else and just direct it right at you in the summertime, get that, that um, air, air conditioning going. Over on the right hand fender, you're going to have your loader joystick. You're going to have your additional remote control, your three point lever, your PTO select, the knob to turn your PTO on and off wiper controls for the front wiper light controls uh, cruise control motion match speed match rollout that kind of thing and then on this one here you're also going to have those levers there for um, the the three bank setup that's on the back for the additional hydraulics up on the steering console you're going to have your four-wheel drive handle you're going to have your throttle your light and flasher controls turn signals um, uh, ability to scroll through the dash another wiper control for the dash as well and then your whole gauge cluster there with your your fuel fill, your RPMs, and your temperatures also. Oh, and this one I forgot. It does have the uh, horn on here too. There you go. And then you've got your, uh, hard to see, but an emergency brake, your parking brake down below along with your ignition switch. Down on the floor again, that's where your split brake is at. Your forward and reverse pedals for the hydrostatic transmission. You have locking rear differential, which is a silver handle there, and then a rate of drop control. And we already did discuss the, uh, the seat controls there for the air ride seat. On the left hand fender, that's where you're going to have your storage. You can see there's a couple little nooks and crannies there that are even for a little bit, a couple of linch pins that you can put right in there. Cup holder as well. You do have a 12 volt convenience outlet. And then you can see the orange knob there on the handle with the A and B C is the hydrostatic range select. So this one right here is a 2008. It's part of the earlier generation of the 4720. It is 58 horsepower. It's a, a John Deere engine, not a Yammer like all the smaller ones, but a John Deere four cylinder uh, turbocharged diesel engine that's in here. This front end loader is gonna lift well over 2000 pounds to full height. The three point hitch is gonna lift 2,500 pounds as well. So it's a very, very capable machine six foot wide at the rear tires there also. So unfortunately this machine is sold. However, as rare as this is, I happen to get two of these that I made deals on in the same day, the same 24 hour period. So there is one more that's almost identical to this. It's gonna have a mechanical self-leveling loader. It's gonna have the belly mower. It's gonna have the cab. Not sure it's gonna have all the remotes on the back, but it's gonna be very, very similar. Although that one's gonna be a later generation with the 66 horsepower engine. Hey, thanks so much for watching. You know, if you're in the market for a tractor, make sure you check out goodworkstractors.com. Read through that description below as well. I put a lot of helpful links down there for all of us tractor owners, accessories, attachments, tractors as well, things you can buy for the tractor owner. If you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button right underneath the video and make sure to check out the other videos on my channel. Until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.